Hello everyone, in this video we are going to talk about another type of simulation called shape optimization. So here we go to uh, simulations and the goal is to reduce the mass of a part that you designed so only the part, the portions of it that are carrying the highest amount of stress are preserved and the areas that are low stress you can just eliminate them to reduce the mass. So here Remember, we have done a static analysis, thermal analysis, modal frequency, the thermal stress, buckling, right? Dynamic events. And today I want to show you shape optimization. So we go here. And so this is my original object. And now I want to see if I can do any modifications to that, right? And uh, see the areas of low stress. So what are the conditions here? So first I have some material here. It's aluminum uh, 1100 for this. And let's say in this case, I want both of the surfaces to be completely fixed. And then I wanted the structural load that I have. Uh, we can add gravity, but uh, uh, it's not really a big deal here. So I'm gonna just put load here. And let's say the load I put in is about 800 Newton. And then, uh, if there is any contact, you can add contact here. I'm good. Let's say this is what I have. Then if, again, you have some complicated geometry, you can simplify. Again, it's fine here. Then you go to shape optimization. The target body is clearly this body, so you're good. Then, of course, uh, if there are areas that you want to preserve and not be included into the... Um, regions that it's just removing you can say that for instance i want to preserve some area around the holes so let's say an area with a radius of seven mil around these holes the holes are five mil in diameter so i want to keep an extra two mil in diameter one in each side around them and not touch it so i add one for here and then i can add another one for this guy okay so uh these areas are going to be excluded from my study. Then if you want your results to be symmetric, right, then you can go here and choose some symmetric planes. So let's say here, the planes that I have for symmetry is the XY plane, the mid plane here. And then plane two is the other plane, the vertical plane. So you pick them. And uh, ideally now these two planes, these two green planes are going to be what your uh, symmetric plane. So you see you have two uh, preserved regions and here seems like for symmetric plane one, actually two planes are picked. So I assume it should be okay. And then uh, one of the important thing is if you want to do this study you better have a small mesh size i mean if you look at the mesh right now let me generate the mesh the mesh is typically large in the beginning to reduce the computation time but if you want to be accurate you cannot go with big mesh size because uh you want to uh, create a um, an optimized shape that is quite a bit smooth and not with lots of cuts out of it so what you want to do is to reduce reduce the mesh size here okay and so um, if we go to mesh setting and uh, here we can either change this or go to absolute size and change the size so let's say i go with one mil and make it very small and regenerate the mesh here okay so i really want fine mesh there we go and now that everything is good, I'm going to solve. Now, before I solve, let me show you one extra thing here. And that is very important. It's called shape optimization criteria. And here you can see that the target is to reduce the mass to 60% of what it is and still keep the stiffness as uh, high as it can. Okay, so we're going to maximize it while keeping the target mass to 60% of what it is and the constraints are you have two planes or one plane that in this case it's a combination of the two and then you have two boundaries to preserve okay if you want to go to 80% of the mass you can change this number here so these are my goals and now I can go ahead and I can solve here okay so let's go ahead and solve okay so here what we got and you clearly can see that the areas of higher stress in red and then uh, 
the target here is I would say about 50% but you have this slider and you can go down now to uh, preserve only 60% of the mass and reduce 40% so this area down here is the area that you can remove right so you can go further down or do anything you want so let's say I want to go to 30% or anything so you can stop anywhere that you want okay so this is if you want to reduce 40% of the mass, you have to reduce these hollow areas. Okay, these do not carry as much as stress and you can um, still create your shape with those. Now, if you want to get this kind of region that is high stress to preserve that, you can go here to tools and you can go to promote and promote will convert the result of this um, shape optimization, the areas of high stress into a mesh for you. And remember, you can always go to the mesh environments that I'm going to show in a future video and, uh, you know, improve on the mesh. Or you can use this area, this mesh that it gives you, and you can use that to draw some sketches over the original part and cut it out. So here I clicked on it and I'm going to uh, add mesh object to the design workspace and I OK that. So now if you go here under... Uh, the design environment you see this mesh is added okay so the mesh is added and you can clearly get rid of these uh, regions and uh, as i said you either work on this mesh or you work on what you work on the part and you can create the um, uh, cut extrude basically on the part so you see here this is the part that you have and now on this part, you can go to sketch and let's say go here. And then you can add a symmetry line, which is uh, basically here in the middle. And you see that you can, let's say, convert it into an axis. All right. And then um, let's say, for instance, uh, here. Uh, remember that we started. Uh, Let's go and let's say use lines here, right? So you can draw a, a line there. And then you can use another symmetry line as well here, which is going through the centers of the holes. Okay, and again, you can convert this into a center line. So now you can pick this guy and then mirror that with respect to this axis here and then you can use the three point arc right and then go from here to here and get it somewhere close to this then do a similar thing for this other one and you can even keep it outside because you want to cut it so let's say you got that one okay and now you can pick this uh, this is sketch entities right so this one this one, this one, and this one, and this time you mirror them with respect to this axis. Okay, something like that. And then you can do a similar thing for this one using SP line, maybe. So um, let's go to SP line. There we go. And here we do something like this. right and then again you can mirror that with respect to this one so you got these two regions and now that your sketch is over you can go ahead and cut extrude those right so cut and the sketches are these and we go all the way in and cut and let's say we get this body Right, of course, uh, this body is uh, definitely um, has internal edges that you want to um, basically uh, create a fillet for. All right, so here I'm gonna go ahead and suppress the mesh, get it out of my way, and then go back to this part. Right, and then here I'm going to apply fillet, and I'm gonna pick all of the inner edges right all of these guys 
any inner edge that exists I can go ahead and fillet them and that should give me an object that does not have much of a stress concentration so something like this now maybe three was too much but that's fine okay so here we go right you see that the shape shape is optimized to about 60 percent of the mass and uh still is doing this job so this is the area for what for shape optimization hopefully the video was useful to you and i'm gonna see you in the next lecture thank you